Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. My name is AJ and today we are going to be talking about which, which crystals are sensitive to sunlight. Now if you are fascinated with crystals like I very much am, you should be aware of how important it is to regularly cleanse and charge your crystals. After cleansing negative energy from your crystals, you should always follow up with a charging routine to re-energize your crystals and get the most out of their healing benefits. Crystal charging is usually done by placing a crystal on a window sill or anywhere that they can soak up the sun's natural energy. However, some crystals are actually sensitive to sunlight and may become damaged over time. Here is a list of crystals that are sensitive to sunlight and some alternative ways we can charge them instead. Aventurine will fade over time uh, in sunlight. In color, it will change from a darker green to a lighter green. Amethyst can also crack and fade. It's unlikely to crack, but it will eventually uh, lose its purple and become more of a clear amethyst, almost even a clear quartz if left in the sun long enough. Citrine will also fade in color as well as rose quartz, smoky quartz, and uh, calcite, uh, which will become uh, faded as well as brittle. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't necessarily use these crystals in the sunlight for periods of time, but be aware of that, that if they are left in the sunlight for uh, the entire day, all day, and they have exposure to direct, direct sunlight, uh, over the course of several months, you will probably start to notice some color fading. Uh, so that's about the time frame that you're looking at. Uh, aquamarine will fade in color, beryl will fade to white, uh, celestite will fade in color and become brittle, kunzite will fade in color as well, although quite a bit more slowly. Uh, sapphire will fade and also lose its luster, and fluorite will actually lose uh, all of its color if exposed for long periods of time to sunlight. Uh, and again, like I say, you are absolutely, you know, I wouldn't be too cautious like uh, with your crystals about putting them in the sunshine at all. You know, it's not uh, that they're going to immediately get damaged, but it's a, if, you know, a long-term exposure to direct sunlight for uh, many months will we'll see some fading, generally speaking. Now that's not even necessarily a bad thing, right? The sun's a natural element and your crystals are just a part of the natural environment. And as long as you don't mind the color of your crystal fading, sometimes they can even look, you know, prettier, sometimes. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, but just be aware that uh, some of your crystals will lose color and fade and some of them can even crack and become brittle although that's unlikely and uncommon but it is a good thing to still be aware of if you want to be careful and preserve your crystals color and shine and sheen if you have an especially beautiful piece of rainbow fluorite for example do not put that in the sun <laughs> it will lose so much of its beautiful color uh, moonlight charging is a method as effective as sunlight charging as it harnesses the natural uh, charging energies of the moon. Whilst crystal cleansing is normally done under the light of a full moon, charging should be done during the new moon as it is this particular phase that is all about new beginnings and transformations, manifesting that which we most desire. Charging your crystals under the new moon light, will, whilst setting your intentions, will help to ensure the effectiveness of your crystals for each specific purpose. Place uh, them on a selenite plate or any surface and leave them uh, on a windowsill in direct moonlight. Leaving them to sit for three days or three weeks actually even is ideal, but overnight will suffice. Uh, earth charging is another method which uses the Earth's natural energies and harnesses uh, uh, and draws into your crystals that natural Earth energy. This method is except, uh, especially powerful as it is not uh, as it not only rather encapsulates the energy of the Earth but also the energy of the Sun and the Moon that have been absorbed into the ground. So if you have access to a nice patch of Earth near your house, find a nice and generally damp area uh, with a little bit of moisture to it where the energy is the most vital and dig a small hole uh, where you can bury your crystal. 
Now, if you don't have a yard, you may use a potted plant or a container which uh, contains soil from, from the earth. You can uh, bury your crystals and leave them in the soil for as long as you like, and then you know wipe them clean with a damp cloth. Be careful of any small pebbles or loose pieces of, of earth material that could potentially scratch some of your more, more brittle crystals. Uh, and then remember to, and also remember rather to be mindful of certain fertilizers and chemicals that may also affect your crystals and even have harmful effects. Uh, selenite is a powerful cleansing and charging crystals that purifies and revitalizes the energy of any space or crystal it comes into contact with on its own. That is why a selenite plate can be a fantastic charging device for use anywhere in your house for all of your other crystals. Whilst selenite carries augmentative energy, it should not be paired with other high vibrational crystals, as this can cause anxiety some in some cases uh, and uh, overabundance of erratic energy. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop. Link in the description below. Grab yourself a free copy of the Crystal Compendium, which has over 250 crystal definitions. Link in the description below. Join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals. We pay a 22 2% commission for referred sales. Enroll in our crystal healing course. Link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the Crystal Meanings app in both the App Store and Google Play Store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertips. It's absolutely free, pun intended. And of course, be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day. And who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.